Hello, my name is Sunny. Welcome to a Sunny Book Nook. Today I will be talking about what books I associate with various A24 movies. <laughs> I've been noticing recently um, some parallels between the vibes and the characters and the settings of different books with some of the movies. The first a24 movie I want to talk about is The Last Black Man in San Francisco. This was not really talked about that much when it came out, which was weird because it was definitely one of the best films of 2019. And it basically follows these two main characters who are black men in San Francisco and their relationship to this house in a neighborhood that's getting rapidly gentrified. And if you like that movie, or if you like this book, um, you know, check the other one out. So the book I want to talk about that made me think of The Last Black Man, There There by Tommy Orange, basically follows a bunch of characters who are all Native American, their journeys to this one powwow in Oakland called the Big Oakland Powwow. A lot about Native American history and culture and trauma and identity. But what made me really connect The Last Black Man in San Francisco and this book is the Bay Area setting, um, because obviously this is set in Oakland um, and Oakland plays a pretty major role, I think, in the storytelling of the narratives we follow here. And it explores a lot of themes of gentrification and obviously race and those dynamics and how it impacts um, characters and their relationships to each other. So. I remember while reading this book, I was like, dang, this kind of reminds me of some of the themes that are addressed in The Last Black Man in San Francisco. So I think that if you liked this book or if you liked the movie, you should check out the respective one. The next movie I want to mention is The Florida Project, another really great movie. And I think it's pretty popular. So you probably have heard about it. This movie came out in, I think, 2017, and it is set in the projects in Florida, as the title suggests, and it basically follows the lives of these children and their families, basically, and how they're getting on in desolation of poverty and that experience uh, in Florida. And a book that made me think of this movie is Florida by Lord Groff. <laughs> Clearly the thematic element that connected these two for me together was like the setting of Florida. But I think that Lauren Groff also addresses some of the issues of class and poverty and also motherhood and relationships to one another and your community and um, children and like how children think and how they live and how they survive. What Florida the book is really a really about is it's just like an anthology of some short stories with the connecting theme of them all being set in Florida. And I think if you liked one you would really like the other and I know that the Florida Project as a movie is probably like way bigger than this like more niche book. So I actually would really, really highly recommend the book. I really enjoy it. It's probably one of the best short story collections that I've read. The next A24 movie I want to talk about is American Honey, which came out in 2016. This story basically follows the main character who basically joins this like traveling band of hooligans um, as they kind of go on like a cross-country road trip selling magazines. It's mostly set in the American South. A lot of the imagery and dialogue reflects that. Like, it's a major kind of element of the film. And a book that made me think of that was Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson, mostly because of that setting of like the American South. And also because um, Nothing to See Here is about a woman who is not living her best life, still living with her mom, not making much money. And then one day, one of her old friends asks her to come nanny these children for her. But the special thing about these children is that they um, burst into flames when they're upset. But their kind of background is also not that great. There are some scenes in American Honey that kind of show the class tension between 
rural southern poor white people and southern suburban white people who are like kind of more uptight and just like have a lot of money and I think nothing to see here also really highlights that like that's one of the major elements of the film because the main character and the two kids they are all not from great situations and they are kind of put in this like mansion I don't know I just think some similar themes but obviously not that similar in terms of plot elements simply because American Honey is following like a teenage girl coming of age and like her sexual explorations with Shia LaBeouf and um nothing to see here is a tad more fr family friendly just a bit the next movie I'm going to talk about is the lighthouse yeah so <laughs> the lighthouse came out in 2019 i believe and it stars william defoe and robert pattinson and it's basically this like black and white film that is set in a lighthouse on this rocky little island in the middle of fucking nowhere some weird shit happens basically and a book that made me think of the lighthouse is House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron Craig, I think. I don't remember. But on the surface, these two forms of media may not seem that similar because Salt House of Salt and Sorrows is a retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses. Um, and the lighthouse is like a horror film. But I think that they both have like these viscerally horrifying moments in the book it's like scenes that are just nightmarish like and then in the movie it's like actually what's going on in the movie um because they both kind of deal with like madness in the idea of like going mad and the relationships you have to other people when you're like going mad um and this close from dying at every step because in the book house of salt and sorrows there's a castle on a cliff by the sea and that's another thing that's similar like they're both set by the ocean it was a dark and stormy night uh very much those vibes which is why i pair these two books together not books sorry this book and this movie together the last a24 movie i'm going to talk about is also a horror film and it was pretty popular and so you'll probably recognize it it's midsummer <laughs> midsummer Midsummer, mids, mid, mid, midsummer. This movie, if you don't know what it's about, in the aftermath of some traumatic family events, this girl goes on a trip with her grad student boyfriend, and this relationship has not been going too well for a while now. But you know, eh, things go how they go. So they go on a trip to like fucking Sweden. Yes, the Sweden. It's beautiful, very green, and that kind of then become like creepier and things go not quite as planned or expected and the book that i want to recommend that reminds me of this movie is ghost wall by sarah moss because ghost wall also deals with relationships particularly toxic and abusive relationships between men and women ghost wall is also set in a remote but beautiful setting because Ghost Wall is set in like Northern England somewhere and uh, basically follows this teenage girl and her dad and her mom who go on a camping trip with a bunch of grad students. So, you know, that's a similarity there. I try to like recreate the Iron Age. The main character's dad is a fucking dick and he, he we kind of figure out very early on that he's kind of by force uh taking his wife and his daughter on this journey with them and i don't know i just think that this book and this movie are kind of eerily similar in the way that it's like they're both deeply unsettling and they both deal with what feels like like inescapable relationships and trauma and how that impacts you um especially trauma from relationships 
and all set in this like lush green setting with like a vaguely historical feel with the feeling of trying to recreate like in midsummer pagan rituals of the harga is that what they're called the harga i don't i don't fucking remember um and in ghost wall the like rituals and lifestyle of people in the iron age so yeah those are all of my kind of book to movie movie to book recommendations let me know if this was interesting <laughs> or helpful. I had fun thinking of this and, ma and making this. Stay safe out there. Have a good day, night, weekend. <laughs> Bye.